Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction How to analyze chemical composition Primary and secondary metabolites Biomacromolecules Proteins Polysaccharides Nucleic acids Structure of proteins Nature of bond linking monomers in a polymer Dynamic state of body constituents that is the concept of metabolism Metabolic basis for living The living state And enzymes So what do you think we are talking about in biomolecules? Bio is life. Molecules, some molecules related to life. So let us see what they are. Now before we see or before we understand what are biomolecules, let me ask you a few questions. So that will trigger you to think why are we here learning about biomolecules? Have you ever wondered why some of us, not only some of us, but most of us have same features as our parents? Like you would have often got such kind of compliments like uh, you look very similar to your dad or you look very similar to your mom. Your eyes are exactly like your mom or you and your brother look exactly the same. So why does that happen? Why is it that you look more similar to your brother than your friend? So how, why does that happen? So from where does that similarity come? So what is there inside our body? Again, why do we eat food? We all know we eat food to get energy. If we stop eating, what happens gradually with time, we tend to feel weak, we fall ill and if somebody starts starving to a great extent, he might even die. So what is, what is actually there inside the food when you eat an apple or when you eat a banana, what is there inside that fruit that is giving you energy? So these kind of questions, have you ever asked yourself that what exactly is present inside an apple or what exactly is there inside all the food which we eat? What exactly is there inside our body? Now in our previous lesson, we have talked not only the previous lesson, in many previous lessons we have studied so far, we have talked about uh, the different life processes that take place inside our body. We have talked about the different organ systems like the digestive system, the respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system. We have all seen what each of those processes do. We also know that inside our body are present a large number of cells. So we know all these basic facts now. Now with all those known facts, can you guess what are we talking about? Can you guess where am I trying to point? When I say that why do we look similar to our parents, from where is that similarity coming in? Try to remember cells. So our body is all made up of cells and inside each of these cells, you have different cell organelles doing their specific tasks. So inside the cell, you have the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, you have the genetic material, the DNA, the chromosomes. And these DNA contain the genetic material. So it, it gets carried forward to your kids. And that is how the characters are inherited one generation after another. So that is how inheritance comes into picture. So it is all about cells. So when I say in, in our previous lesson itself, we spoke about cell. I told cell is the fundamental unit of life. It is the basic building block of every living organism. Now when I say that, what is this cell? Cell is also made up of something. 
So what is that something the cell is made up of? When I say there are uh, chloroplasts, there are mitochondria, there are endoplasmic reticulum, there are ribosomes present inside the cell, what are all these organelles made up of? Just try to think about it. Think of uh, one of the very simple things which we have discussed in detail in our previous lesson. Try to think of the plasma membrane or the cell membrane. What did I say when I spoke about its structure? I said that it is a lipid bilayer structure. It is made up of lipids. There are proteins embedded here and there in lipids. So what are these lipids? What are proteins? What is cholesterol? So all these were the constituents of the plasma membrane. So this is what the plasma membrane was made up of. Similarly, when you talk about any of these cell organelles or when you talk about the cytoplasm, what does it have? It has water, it has minerals, it has some proteins. It, so these molecules which constitute life, these molecules are nothing but biomolecules. And we are going to dedicate this chapter studying about all these molecules because we have understood everything at a cellular level, that how all the processes take place inside the cell. For example, when we eat food, what happens? The entire process of digestion takes place inside our body with the help of the different organs which together form the digestive system. How is that energy utilized? The process of cellular respiration takes place inside each and every cell. That is, glucose is oxidized inside each and every cell to produce energy in the form of ATP molecules. And that is how energy is produced in each and every cell. And that is how our body gets energy. Because body is nothing but aggregate of cells. So now the question here is, what does cell consist of and we see that cell is made up of many such molecules like proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and all these together form the biomolecules. So in this lesson we are going to talk about the structure, the properties of each of these biomolecules. So this is just a brief introduction. So let us see what are biomolecules. Bio is something, anything related to life or living organism. So any molecule that is produced by a living organism is a biomolecule. So it is like a, a vice versa process. When you say uh, a living organism produces these molecules, when you talk about proteins, lipids, uh, DNA, RNA, what are they? They together form a living organism. From, but from where are they produced? They are produced inside a living organism. So they are produced by living organism and they all together form the living organism. So the relationship is that way. So some of the examples of biomolecules would be proteins, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, vitamins. So these are all examples of biomolecules. Now in this lesson we are going to talk about the function of each of them, their structure, and how, why do they have those kind of structure? They are different types of proteins and what are they made up of? Like proteins also are made up of something. So what we'll talk about that as well. So when we talk about biomolecules, we actually get to see that when you think of the entire living organism, for example, the entire human body. So it is made up of cells, cells together from tissues, tissues form organs and organs for, form organ system, all those things are perfectly correct. But when you get into even deeper down, you actually see that it is all chemicals inside our body. So everything, every life you talk about is nothing but chemicals. Inside the cell you have all chemicals. It is just that the lipids and the proteins, they arrange themselves in a particular proportion, in a particular manner and they form the plasma membrane. Similarly, you have some nucleic acids like RNA or DNA. They together organize themselves in a particular fashion and then they form the genetic material inside the cell. So that ways the biomolecules together arrange themselves in such a way that they form different parts of the living organism. So these are biomolecules. Now a very simple question, why study biomolecules? And a very simple answer as well. If we want to know about 
how inheritance take place. However, we know that it happens through DNA and the genetic material which is present inside the nucleus. But how exactly it happens, why it happens, that will be clear only when we get into the fundamentals, when we get into what is there, what is DNA, what is the structure of DNA, what does it contain that it is able to store genetic information. So that way it's going to help. If you want to know what is there inside all these fruits which you eat, why do you eat them? We, we often hear our moms saying that uh, you should every day eat, take, eat one apple. You should eat more pulses and green vegetables because they are a good source of proteins. We often hear all these statements. So why, I mean, why do we need proteins? Why do we need to consume food? or consume anything which is rich in protein or which is rich in carbohydrate. Why do sometimes people say that, oh, I'm on diet and I'm going to consume less oil, less ghee, because they are all rich in fats. So if you want to get into the details of all these things, that what is there in fats, what is there in proteins, then you will have to study biomolecules. Why do you fall ill when you do not take good food? And what happens when you fall ill? When you fall ill, you tend to feel very weak. And then the doctors advise you to take some vitamin tablets, which will help you to get some energy and recover from your weakness. Sometimes they ask you to take some iron tablets to build up your strength. So why? So where is that energy coming from? From How is that energy coming from uh, those tablets which you are consuming to stay healthy so when you are doing a lot of exercise you're 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 making a good body you the processes which take place inside your body so from where like you would have seen that when you want to do vigorous exercise you need a lot of energy so from where do you get that extra energy which you need to do that extra work so the entire process which takes place inside our body, chemicals play a very, very important role there. Whether you talk about digestion, we have, however, learned about human digestive system and you all know the process of digestion. But still, can you tell me how, the, where, where, which portion of the digestive tract, the exact process of digestion takes place? It starts in the stomach, right? Part, partial digestion starts at stomach and the entire digestion happens in the small intestine. Now, how it happens in stomach or small intestine? With the help of enzymes. So, en we, we have spoken about all these things, right? There are specific enzymes which can digest carbohydrates. There are specific enzymes like lipases we can, which can digest lipids. There are specific enzymes like proteases which can digest proteins. So, since all these enzymes are present in the intestine, they help in digestion of the food. Now, when I talk about these enzymes, what are these enzymes? These enzymes are nothing but proteins. And what are proteins? We don't know. That is why we are studying biomolecules because we want to know what are proteins, what are enzymes, what do they do that the food gets digested, how can they digest carbohydrate, how can they digest protein. So that is what we are good, I mean this is our purpose, that, that should be the motivation to study biomolecules. Now there is a branch of science which has been dedicated to the study of these molecules. This is known as biochemistry. Bio, something related to life and chemistry, something related to chemicals. So basically biology and chemistry, both words combined together form biochemistry. So here we are going to talk about chemicals which play a crucial role in living organisms. A living system grows, sustains and reproduces itself. So that is a normal phenomenon that all living organisms, whether you talk about a small insect, whether you talk about a bacteria or you talk about a huge elephant, all living systems have a tendency to grow, to sustain, to live for some time and also to reproduce. The most amazing thing about the living system is that it is composed of non-living atoms and molecules. Now when we talked about cell, cell is the building block because cell is the smallest living unit of a living organism. But when you get deeper down the 
composition of a cell cell is all made up of chemicals and chemicals are not living chemicals are all non living things so when i say chemicals i am talking about the same chemicals which you see in your chemistry lab maybe you see so many things the high nitrogen hydrogen sulfur dioxide nitric acid this that and all they are all chemicals and all these chemicals are non living but when those chemicals together form together they are present in a specific proportion they are pre present in a specific structure they are able to perform a function which can make an organism a living organism and that is what is happening if you look at any living organism even consider human beings you see all the processes happening inside is because of the interaction of the chemicals so throughout our body n number of chemical reactions are taking place all the time so body is nothing but chemical so living systems are made up of non living atoms and molecules so the pursuit of knowledge of what goes on chemically within a living system falls in the domain of biochemistry so inside the living organ the study of living organism is biology but when you want to study the role of chemicals in the life of a living organisms then you call that branch of science as biochemistry so whatever chemical things happen inside a living organism that comes under biochemistry so just now i mentioned to you the, so the study of all these biomolecules because they all together will constitute all the chemical processes that take place inside a living organism so that is biochemistry so with this you got a brief idea about what are we going to talk about in this lesson so we'll talk about all these different types of biomolecules in detail thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again